like when he starts a show like this. When he's really into it? Yeah. When he's uh, produced it? Oh, yeah, Double Dragon. It's an absolute banger. That's a childhood okay. right there. Upgraded childhood banger. Double Dragon 1, I think, not even 2. Mm. Then, and then the sound effect with the... When the knife Beam. drops, yeah. that's when you uh, you have to either it gets beat off of you or you have to chuck it as well when it had a certain number of activations. Mm -hmm. If you've used it like I think it's like three four times, yeah, then it, you have to get rid of it and go back to your fists and your legs because you're a kung fu master. You know about this stuff, well. Why? Because I'm Asian. <laughs> oh my god what's Will? going on here <laughs> no because you're from the same era as me we're born the same year yeah I, I'm, I'm joking <laughs> I hear you Man. but I am Chinese so. <laughs> just to be clear in case anybody uh, in case anybody was going down the same path you were going it's Friday we're having fun is yeah. it Friday today it is Friday damn yeah. did we get to the end of another week mm -hmm. hey we did it oh. yeah we did it. Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't here yesterday. But. We done did it. Yeah. We done did it. Uh, we got Mo. We got Will. We got the community in the house. Lovely. Exciting times. What a time to be alive. Many things happening. Someone's... Wayne says blood on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's going to be the lore of the community. <laughs> we have some new uh, front panels. My favorite subject, front panels. Uh-huh. I, uh, I'm a big front panel guy. You are. You wouldn't have a phone without it. These, uh, oh, this is interesting, actually. What are we discovering here? The pill thing is not, what? Is this what we discovered about the pill thing? It's only on the... It's only yeah. on the pro model. Oh, yeah, the pro, it's just the way they have them organized there. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Of course, this is how it will be. Uh, Apple's upcoming iPhone 14 Pro models are widely rumored to feature new displays with a pill-shaped cutout and a hole for the Face ID sensors and front camera, respectively. And now a real-world look at the design has seemingly surfaced. It's seemingly surfaced. Have you noticed what's surfaced? Mm -hmm. It's on the surface. Uh, these look like screen protectors, or are they actually the glass pieces for the eventual devices? They look like the glass devices, no? Yeah. Yeah, the it screen, has the border. screen protectors don't typically have... Yeah, exactly what Will said. Way to go, guys. <laughs> we solved it. <laughs> well done, boys. It hard one. You remind me of Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> yeah. He's a pretty well-known detective, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Sherlock? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who even knows Who, it? Who's better, Dick Tracy or Sherlock? Dick Tracy, that was my thing, man. I mean, Sherlock, he's been, he's been around forever. Was He got the pipe and he's been around forever. Yeah. So you can't out Sherlock Sherlock. But Inspector Gadget? When I was a kid oh. and Dick Tracy had the watch. He had the tech. And they had the Tommy guns. Oh, yeah. And they had the those cars. Mm -hmm. I was into that, man. You know, youngster. I was a youngster, Will. I know it's hard to tell at this point in time. I was a youngster yeah. and I was into it. What a day we've had, though, man. <laughs> Took a beating yeah, today. No kidding. <laughs> Took a beating today. And still but we... it was necessary. Oh, maybe. <laughs> Time will tell. I don't know. It's a lot of blood on the floor. As far as I can <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we can giggle at that is so ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Took a beating today. Oh uh, yeah, you got to get the the pro model to get the pill thing. In actual fact, how significant is any of this? You know, like it's really not that big of a deal one way or the other, but it does send a message at least that Apple is interested in eventually doing away with this notch that they've held on to for so long for the purpose of face ID, face unlock. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also notice the slimmer bezels. Uh, no, Nobody's going to complain about these things. Mm-hmm. Oh, shout out TS. That's right. This is the community. Do you have a, a preference between the pill or the notch? I take the pill. You take the pill. Yeah, can't you see my uh, aspirin over here? <laughs> <laughs> he means a real pill. <laughs> or your joint pain. 
Okay. <laughs> Mo just brought this to me. He took uh -huh. one look at me after the beating I took earlier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he just put it right here. <laughs> I was like, you might need this. <laughs> I was like, what are you trying to say to me, Mo? No. Just put this right here. He's like, I just want to make sure that it's nearby in case you need it. <laughs> Regular strength, by the way. Nothing crazy. Yeah. Not getting too crazy over here. Uh, no, I'll take the pill uh, and the uh, the pill and the dot of the, the new age look. It, it's not a huge, it's not a huge one for me. Right, it's it doesn't not a, make or break a phone for you. Not but, deal breaker, mm -hmm. but you show me the two of them. Right, now I you say, have choice. I say, give me the new one. Oh. I say, let me try the new one, because a lot of it for me, interest is just the ability to try these this variety of, impl of implementations. To have the experience. That the tech companies throw at me. Mm. I'm like a fish, and this is the, the bait. The bait. The, the lure. The lure of sorts. Ooh. Okay. They try something new, and then they say, what do you think, customer? And I say, I'll let you know. I am the customer in the community. And then I let people know, which mm -hmm. is the beauty of the whole uh, situation. I don't think it's going to drastically impact my enjoyment in the long term, but I can't say that for certain until I t give it a shot and test it out. Right. Obviously, the ideal scenario is a full screen setup with none of this, and everything is like under the display, and we're display. moving. I also like to support any movement towards that, any development. Oh, I see. At least give it's it a like shot. A early adopter. Type Let me of tell you something though. Newer, not always better. <clears throat> Newer, not always better. But I don't need to tell you, Mo. <laughs> Did you get a new hoodie? Uh, nope. You always had that one? I've had this one for maybe... Do you like the NASA? You don't wear it often. I don't wear it often. Go ahead. No reason. It's just uh, I like darker hoodies. This is mm. kind of where the I feel... gray? That, yeah. <laughs> this is a lovely gift. I like this hoodie, but I would have not picked out a light hoodie. <laughs> 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 you don't like? You're so <laughs> mature. <laughs> what do you mean? I wouldn't have picked this because it's too light for me. No, but the I... lovely gift. Oh, right. <laughs> You're so mature these days. Okay. Yeah, maybe the stock market's really That aged was me. so <laughs> formal the way you did that. <laughs> yeah. You sound like my grandmother. <laughs> They're your lovely <laughs> gift. <laughs> Not exactly lovely gift. A very political answer. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's you thought it through. Mm -hmm. Well, it was good enough to make the cut for today, at least. Right. Yeah. And I gotta say, I'm a fan of it. So oh, I think it okay. is a lovely gift. All right. Regardless of what you think of it. <laughs> so. I actually need to step up my uh, um, hoodie game. Like you're gonna. I just want more. Hoodies. Expand the yeah. The, the ones I have, I kind of want to get rid of them. The wardrobe? I might donate them to like a value village. You're going to expand the wardrobe. Yeah, and get new sweaters. Okay, you just rubbed over here. Do you want to explain to people what happened? Oh I mean, I just, because they're going to get worried about you. <laughs> but it's you. so embarrassing. I know, but they're going to get worried about, oh, you don't have to. <laughs> no, okay, I will. They're going to get worried about you because you constantly, you're reaching and, yeah. Yeah. I have a bit of a pain above my right eye right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and it's no cool story. It's very no. embarrassing. I walk into cardboard. <laughs> He walks into cardboard, <laughs> but it was painful. It's man. a thick. It's a thick uh, cardboard. Yes, it's like a um, Bristol board almost. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but Bristol, is that what you I don't call know. it? They, they would always say you're, you're when you're in school, they do the project on a Bristol board. Mm -hmm. you remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that? A brand? Is that like Kleenex? Who's Bristol? Oh, <laughs> is it <laughs> from Bristol? <laughs> Who's Bristol? <laughs> Who's Bristol board? Uh, Bristol board is an uncoated machine finished paper board named after the city of Bristol oh. in southwest England. Hmm. This show. Oh, wait, but rather after Frederick. Wait, click oh, on that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> also referred to as Bristol paper, uncoated machine finished paper. It is named after the city of Bristol in the southwest of England, but rather after it is not named like this. What is with the way they wrote this? Hmm. But rather after Frederick. Hervey, the Earl of Bristol. What's this? Is that urn? Yeah, that's right. Larva. That's larva. Wow. What the? It's just a drawing that was done on Bristol board. <laughs> just so happens to be on Bristol board. And that makes it to the but Wikipedia page? The thing about it is uh, 
this whole deal goes back way further than we may have imagined. Right? Mm -hmm. We're talking about the Earl of Bristol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You didn't know about this guy. You never <laughs> that name of, is way back. You never thought about that guy when you had to do the school project. No. Let's see where he's at. He was the Earl of Bristol back in the, what, 1803, man. He died. Oh. You know? The, he was the fourth Earl of Bristol. Well, now you know about Bristol board. Uh, but basically, it was a substance similar to that that Mo encountered, and he encountered it with his eyeball. Yeah, <laughs> uh, and it was uh, quite quite a painful experience. It was quite a scene. Yeah. Was, oh, you mean my after outburst? <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's right. The, the, the same feeling anyone gets when they stub their toe. The aftermath. <clears throat> it was profanity laden. Mm -hmm. Or jam your pinky in a door or something. And uh, it's so much pain from such a tiny little place, you know? Wow. It's just like, you can't do anything about it either. Yeah. Death by a thousand cuts? Yeah. Mm. I'm always worried about the infection. Like mm. if it's a dirty Bristol board, <laughs> you know? Interesting. You a big tetanus guy? Yeah, goes right in the eye. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of dangerous. Yeah, yeah. That's just me. YouTube's tipping feature is now available to more creators. Super thanks tips range from $2 to $50. $50. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Shoo. You're trying, to, you're trying to send a message to the community here, Will? Yeah. Trying to say where's the two bucks at? Trying to buy a coffee? Well, I was thinking this would be for Unbox Therapy, you know? Really? Yeah. Okay. Super thanks. Which is more than regular thanks. Regular thanks, you can just type it. But super thanks, you got to put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> super thanks is going to cost you more than that type of thanks. YouTube is expanding its super thanks tipping program, giving more creators another way to monetize their presence on the platform. Super thanks, which allows fans to send creators tips directly on videos, was previously in beta since being announced last year. Tip amounts vary between $2 and $50, and fans can include a custom comment when they send creators money. The program is now open to all eligible YouTube partner creators in 68 countries. The company announced in a blog post, 68 countries. It's a lot of places supported. Um, creators make money from their videos through the ad split. Yeah, but what happens when the advertisers pull out? Then you have super thanks. Or super chat, which you almost said. Mm -hmm. you well, I was both. reading ahead, yeah. You have both. Yeah. Wait, so if I understand this correctly, you can do a super thanks to a video that's already been published. You send it to a channel directly. It's just that the button is, usually you're going to encounter it below a video. Oh, okay. But you can do it at any moment and for any reason, and you don't have to be live. Super chat, obviously. Is super chat, you need to be live. Interesting. A live aspect to it. <clears throat> um, so it's one more option. Super chat, super thanks, super stickers. It's all ways for a creator to interact directly, economically, right. with their audience mm -hmm. without the advertiser aspect taking part. And uh, presumably there's many business models that rely on such things and right. such avenues and such uh, arrangements. Mm -hmm. What's uh, Super Stickers? Uh, it's it's another live one. So they, these, they can post uh, fancy... Stickers in there. Oh, okay. Look and at those. Which one do you pick? Oh, the Doge. Or the, Doge? the Shiba. The, the Shiba? The Bashiba? Mm -hmm. The Shiba. It's Bish you know why it's Bashiba? No. He lost his owner. Really? Yeah. Oh. He turned to a life of motorcycles and mischief. <laughs> but he's but so now. Happy. Now he's <laughs> turning over a cool new leaf. <laughs> like that, Will? Okay. <laughs> uh, go back to that page. Apparently, a lot of people are using that. 100,000? What does it say? Twitch-like tool that allows people to purchase better placement for their messages to streamers. More than 100,000 channels use Super Chat, according to the company, with some creators earning more than $400 a minute. I don't understand. Wait a second. $400 a minute. Well, what are we doing wrong over here? Yeah. We're missing out. <laughs> $400 a minute. What are we doing? What the hell kind of profession is that? Although I see super chats coming in right now, but I can't see them because you shrunk them all. Very zoomed out. Is that because oh, of spam? I don't know what you're doing. Well, I feel like you're. There's a lot of inappropriate comments, a lot of super chats. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. All right. There. Thank you very much. Shout out, Mark, and everybody else.
Uh, this is yeah. I, I, Will, I'm a fan. Diversification. Oh, good. Diversification. Yeah. Figure it out. Connect with the audience directly, and then you're you're a little bit more insulated from sure. advertiser uh, sensitivities and such. Mm -hmm. And our advertisers are cool though. Will, don't get it. Don't you? Don't you even? Okay. Shout out, Jesse. Yeah, ha have me describe to you. Huh? How cool our advertisers are. Yeah. Our advertisers might be in there with the super chats themselves. Mm hmm. They might be in there with the super stickers themselves. That's how cool they are. Okay. But But other people's advertisers, you know, other. Yeah. I don't know. Boycotters and such. <laughs> Those types. Yeah, we're different. <laughs> Apparently, Jesse's been posting uh, super stickers on this show for a while. Yeah, now. exactly. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it in the past. I don't know if he got the Doge one or I don't know what he got, but. Uh, the accuracy of this Falcon's flight, I believe we're going to appreciate it in this uh, particular Reddit post. Go ahead, Will. Give us a taste of the accuracy of this Falcon's flight. I see the glove, so I know where that Falcon about mm -hmm, to go, mm -hmm. and I know how these Falcons interact. Oh, baby, yeah, you, yeah. Oh, slow oh, motion, too. The, the one is nervous, the, yeah. other, the other's having fun. Oh, now they're both nervous, and kablam. That's cool. Woo! Man, look at the talons on that thing. A little risky. Um, uh, little, 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 little risk, risky, I would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, your face is there. There's talons involved. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Face and talons. I mean, it might not be as dangerous as the car, your cardboard or your Bristol board. <laughs> right. But a talon is almost up there when it comes uh -huh. to the eyes and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Risqué. I mean, you might have a little more damage. But it is also a really cool video. <laughs> so worth it for the video. Maybe. Uh -huh. It might be. Yeah. So you would do it. That would be would you. you. You would be the girl on the left or on the right. Oh, I would have to see this happen a few times before I put myself in the position. But then after that, you would be the girl on the left or on the right? <laughs> I'd be worried off the bat. I'd be on the <laughs> left. I'd be worried right off the bat. Look at her. She's a little bit more. She was oh, trying. She, she was, almost pulled back. She was actually trying to look out the side of her eye. But mm -hmm. really what you should be doing is squeezing your eyes shut. Right. And just it's and in, because then the eyeball has a touch. of I don't know if the talent. Cares. Oh, interesting. You thought of his protection. I thought of his like the less I know. the. Better. Oh, no, <laughs> well, I guess. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. I guess that that's another uh, aspect, but mm -hmm. I'm thinking maybe you end up with a scratch on the eyelid instead of the cornea. Mm. That's what I was thinking. It's possible. It's a little bit safer. A talent might not care. Shout out Gerardo. Texas man offers Elon Musk 100 acres of land. <laughs> Texas man. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, when you're in Texas, if you're a Texas man, you got 100 acres. Right. That's what happens. You're born, you got 100 acres. <laughs> They're like, uh, here you go. They just plop you in the middle of 100 acres. They're right. like, you're a Texas man. You got 100. No, that's not true, obviously. That's a lot of land. And uh, this guy wants Twitter HQ moved out of San Francisco. An Austin area man is offering Tesla CEO Elon Musk 100 acres of free land to move Twitter's headquarters from San Francisco to Texas. The mm. offer comes after Musk's successful bid to buy Twitter for 44 billies. Texas Governor Greg Abbott tweeted that he would declare the area a free speech zone and added, maybe we can rename it Twitter, Texas. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Dews. Mm. <laughs> I like this. Yeah. Uh, Become Scooby-Doo. Uh, what's, what's in it for him? This seems... Uh, Who? Texas man. Texas man? More Because he's saying for free. Uh, wait. Schwar Schwartner, who oversees farming and ranching on... Tw well, the dude's, first of all, got 20,000 acres of land. Yeah, but still, you don't do anything for free. 100 acres out of 20 grand? But what's the incentive? Like, he just wants it to be on his land? Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have 20,000 acres and you give away 100, but you bring... The Twitter HQ there. Okay. I got to believe it may increase the value of your other 19,900 acres. Mm. 
Interesting. Because there'd be a lot of companies that would want to be nearby Twitter's HQ. Right. This could be the start of the next Silicon Valley. (laughs) In the middle uh, middle of Texas. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, There'd be more jobs. How how would you... I don't even know if that's his thing. He might just be... It might be on principle. He likes the idea of being a part of that story. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you're going to have an HQ, you know what you need. You need all this infrastructure. You're going to need services for all those people like an right. hq of a tech company you're gonna have thousands of employees right it's gonna so it's gonna bring a lot of value to the region mm-hmm. uh, he added that by giving the land which is equivalent to 75 football fields to musk it would be a win-win for everybody this area is exploding and we want to be a part of this explosive growth i just think with all the stuff he's done he evidently likes texas right or he wouldn't have moved from california and i want to be a part of his plan if he'll come visit with us yeah that's it i think it it brings a lot of money into the region. Right, yeah. It's a bunch of high-paying jobs and people with disposable income, and then it ends up sneaking out. Right, you got to have restaurants there. You got to have uh, hotels. Hey, you know, and... it, it sneaks and it squeaks right out of there. Mm-hmm. Interesting. And when it squeaks out of there, you pick a little bit of it up. Mm. You just walk beside the, the money it squeaks out. You think Elon's doing this, though? I don't know that Elon can even snap the fingers and do something along these lines. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work with pre-existing employees. Do they want to relocate? Are you got to are you hiring new people? I mean, there's right. been it's such a time of transition. The next 6 months is going to be very interesting to see what uh, everybody agrees to. Mm-hmm. Uh, they don't have to continue on. He's going they're going to is there going to be renegotiations? What's going to what's going to happen? Right. Now that it's private. Okay, Will, we have a question here from Abdullah about how your therapy is going regarding crypto. He is personally struggling. Hmm. Therapy. I can't offer advice. You can. I can? Have you fully recovered? I think so, yeah. And how did you get there? What was the key to your success? Um, out of my phone. No, no apps. No apps. Delete. Yeah. Delete. The moment I check my phone, I feel like that's the habit. Interesting. Yeah, it. So delete off the phone is good enough. Because you can still check on the other devices, no? Yeah. But it's less of a pull. I think so. Okay, well, there's a little tip for you, all right? That's a little start. Get yeah. the cryptos off the phone and see how that goes, step one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mo, do you have any rules around your uh, stock trading? Mm-hmm. Like, is it stay, does it also stay off the phone or it's everywhere? No, I just have like rules around purchasing and selling and stuff. But looking and checking up on it hasn't become a problem yet? No. I I still finding a lot of joy out of it. I haven't seen the downside yet. Mm. Like I I yes, I may be spending a little bit too much time doing it, but it's really fun for me, so. Mm. I'm not up late night checking in the middle of the night. I haven't gotten to that point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Twitter earnings fall short as company admits overstating user numbers. <laughs> well, everyone knows this is a botville over there as well. Anyone who's been on Twitter realizes. Mm-hmm. Man, but honestly, normally I hate bots. Normally. But I've been having a sh- <laughs> I've been having a chuckle every so often. Okay. Uh, including at the beginning before we started shooting the show. Yeah, you were laughing. What's going on? It, over well, there? it would just be when somebody would leave um, a nasty comment to <laughs> I, me. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> somebody would leave a nasty comment, and then the bot is right underneath saying, You've won. <laughs> 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 Barely trying. It's a numbers uh, game for them. I don't know them. what it is, man. I just love it. It's like it shows you how ridiculous the whole thing is. Mm-hmm. Like here's you with the nasty comment, and here's the bot doing what the bot does, and then there's me reading the entire exchange. It's all so goofy and funny mm-hmm. on some level. I mean, it's also irritating, and obviously tons of scams. And I'm not. Uh, I hate it. Yeah. On the big picture, it's Everybody sucks, does. and it, it, you know, people get get definitely people uh send money and telegram accounts and whatsapp and it's a absolute mess and i want it to be done but every so often you get this little 
kind of funny combination of internet things happening. Mm-hmm. So, okay, social media platform Twitter recently published its earnings report for the first quarter of 2022, falling short of expectations. The company also admitted it overstated its daily active users for several years, supposedly by error. The earnings call report is expected to be Twitter's final report as a public company following Elon Musk's successful bid to take the company private. Imagine that. The final report. Yes. It's what? eerie almost. It's like before it goes dark. Yeah. And then you know nothing yeah. anymore. Well, you don't, they don't need to disclose it anymore. You don't know what's going on anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, CNBC reports that Twitter has reported earnings for the first quarter of 2022 amidst Elon Musk's successful bid. Earnings per share, 61 cents, not comparable to estimates. Revenue, $1.2 billion versus $1.23 billion expected. And monetizable daily active users, 229 million versus 226.9 million expected. Okay, so that number, I guess, was a bit higher. Mm. Uh, what do you think about that? 229 million daily active users. That's not, I mean, it's not Facebook, but it, it's not nothing. It's definitely not nothing. Daily? I wonder what, what that implies. Like, it, it's, you know how they do like a view count on mm-hmm. YouTube? Like, mm-hmm. did you view it or not? Right. What How, counts as a view? But what what counts as a daily active? I mean, I'm sure that they disclose this. Mm-hmm. It's curious though. Like like 30 seconds in the app. That's what I mean. It's a, it's 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 interesting that the power user who spends hours there, like Elon, mm-hmm. reading through threads and calculating uh, interactions, and then somebody who glances at it for 15 seconds, are they both daily active users? I guess so. I guess so to an extent. But there's a wide spectrum there. And I think the majority are probably not on the super side. No. The majority are probably the lurkers, the glancers. Mm-hmm. And and then you got the power users who produce the majority of the content that the lurkers engage with. That seems to be the case across social media. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how significant. I don't think it mattered. Like Elon was gonna gonna was interested. He did his 5420. He goes uh, private. I don't know if I'm an investor in Twitter, if this or like how I feel about this. Am I happy I got my 5420 and got out? Right. Does this make you feel a little I bit? think it makes you feel justified. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you're. But this has been Twitter's story since almost day one. Like they had users, but they're just not able to monopolize on. But it's not often you get the deal before the earnings exactly. report. Exactly. Yeah. That's you cut the deal rare. beforehand. Mm hmm. Typically, yeah. earnings report will dictate where the market goes. It's like getting an appraisal <laughs> yeah. on a house or something, <laughs> yeah. but you buy it before the appraisal, <laughs> right? And then yeah. but you actually won mm-hmm. because the appraisal came back high, Yeah, but could have went the other way too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you pay and then the appraisal comes back low and you overpaid. So I don't think Elon cared all that much one way or the other. Obviously, there's an interesting development there in the... Uh, in the uh, sense that he sold some Twitter stock. I don't know if you have the story or not, Will. You mean Tesla? Or, sorry, Tesla stock in order to fund the purchase of Twitter. Yeah. So this was happening, I guess, this morning. Ooh, wait, two hours ago, 8.5. I read 4 billion this morning. Whoa. So he doubled up. Is it up to 8? Or or the information wasn't fully out there. 8.5 billion? Oh, here we go. Correction, an earlier version of this story misstated the initial number of Tesla shares Elon Musk sold, the value of the shares, and when he sold them. Musk sold 4.4 million shares worth $4 billion. What? Oh, yeah. That's oh, what the, the number earlier, of that, shares? No, that's what the earlier story said. Hmm. So they've updated it? Correction, an earlier version misstated the number. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they're saying it, that was so a misstatement. the $4 billion was wrong. Yes. And it's actually a point. Yeah, how can how can four point four million shares be worth only four billion? Right? What is the share? I guess well, it doesn't matter. It's wrong. Oh, it's all wrong. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe it can be, but I'm not pulling out the calculator. They they updated to eight point five billion, and there's a dollar sign there. So forget about shares. Yeah. Musk sold 3.7 million shares of Tesla stock on Tuesday for a total of $3.3 billion and another 735,000 shares on Wednesday, bringing in $654 million, according to filings. Mm -hmm. Friday morning, he disclosed that he had sold an additional 5.2 million shares for a total of $4.5 billion. All told, he received an average price of $883.09 per share. Mm. 
The sales represent only 5.6% of the Tesla shares he held outright at the start of the day Tuesday and less than 4% of his total holdings of Tesla if stock options he controls are included. Still, though, 8.5 billies is 8 point. You got to be careful with this stuff. Mm -hmm. These type of headlines. Yeah. It's not zero. It's not nothing. It's not doubling down. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, this money had to come from somewhere, didn't it? Well, that's true. He had to liquidate something. Had to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Even if you're taking the loans and everything else at some point. Very interesting stuff. 8.5 billion. He loves Twitter. He's so into it with the tweeting. He's very... Yeah, he's making a big bet here. He's into it with the tweeting. And I guess with it being private, the pressure system's a bit different. In the sense, without the earnings and this and that and answering to the shareholders... It's a bit different. Mm -hmm. It might not be the same protocol as some of his other companies. And maybe just the idea of running a massive private company is engaging and exciting in and of itself without having all these shareholders, mm -hmm. guys like you, mm -hmm. well, <laughs> shareholder, telling them what to do. <laughs> Isn't it interesting how it makes you feel so invested in a company? You got like one share. You're yeah. like, I'll tell you <laughs> what you need to be doing. <laughs> You walk into the boardroom, you're like, I'm a shareholder. Like, how many you right, got? Right. One. I said, show me the money. One. But I've paid attention to everything ever since I gave you $884. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So that's what he sold for. So what's the price as of today? Did he get a good deal or what? <clears throat> Let's get a Tesla stock price update, courtesy of uh, Mo Market, courtesy of Mo Money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he sold it higher than it is right now. It actually took a huge drop. 870 uh, USD. Well, I mean, when you got the dude selling, mm -hmm. give me a five day, Will. It hit me with a five. Been going down. Hit me for with a, while. a hit me with a six month. Oof, still no good. Mm -hmm. Down thirty. Hey. Year to date. You talking about a YTD? Oh, okay. You talking about a YTD? Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Well, listen. Listen to me. He likes the Twitter, all right? Yeah, he does. He likes the Twitter, and mm -hmm. he likes, and I think he still likes the Tesla, so we might be all right. Yeah. Your share, your single share might be all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. Oh, easy. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> you have no idea. Most of Holy. <laughs> No more playing around. No more goofing around. Mo's about to uh, share the the details. Go ahead. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, no details. Well, since you, you just, since you're flexing over there. No, I'm just letting you know that you don't know. Yeah, that's a flex if I ever heard <laughs> yeah. one, and I fully support it. Obama's to leave Spotify and seek a podcast deal elsewhere. The podcast contract with the streaming service expires this year. Former first family wants limited episodes, but wide distribution. Hmm. Well, I mean, they can just post like any other podcast. That's the widest distribution, I guess. Oh, right. but I guess they want to be promoted and everything as well. Mm -hmm. right. Well, then if that's the case, I don't know if you can beat Spotify. Where would you? Maybe Apple? Could, could Apple, but Apple doesn't really promote podcasts, do they? I mean, they got their like Apple podcasts and yeah, maybe they'll get in that business. Mm -hmm. I, they probably. Right. You should get in that business. Right. Spotify is making the pivot for obvious reasons. They, they, they care more and more about content. Apple. Mm -hmm. um, have you guys listened to this podcast? I just found out about it with this article. <laughs> the former First Family's production company, Higher Ground, won't be signing a new deal with the audio platform. Why would they come out and say that? They kind of take away your leverage a little bit. We won't be signing a deal here. According mm -hmm. to people familiar with the negotiations, the companies instead talking to other distributors about a deal worth oh well oh. that's why they're not tens of millions of dollars yeah among the most lucrative in the podcasting but well that's why you're shutting down the spotify you got a better deal oh looks like amazon's into it look at here's who's in the mix amazon.com their uh audible product sponsor the show mm. shout out audible i don't really listen to podcasts on audible i mostly listen to audiobooks but they do, there are podcasts, but they have to get the exclusives if you're going to be able to convince people. Right, right. That you're, an, uh, uh, that you're a podcast platform. You have to have some exclusives, I guess. That's how it works, Mo. 
I can kind of see this though. Go ahead. I don't know. Audible to me has a very like a learning type of environment. Yeah. Uh -huh, right. Yeah. And then I don't know. I feel like their podcast. I haven't heard it. I'm just kind of imagining what I yeah, think. It I want to hear about their podcast from a guy who's never listened to their exactly, podcast. Exactly. That's exactly what I signed up for today. <laughs> Tell me what their podcast is about. Well, I don't. I don't know what it's about, but I would imagine it'd be very insightful, and and it would be a lot of learning. I can't imagine Barack Obama just goofing, right? So I think that that could be a very interesting. It's actually Barack Obama's stock picks. <laughs> well, then I better tune in. <laughs> Obama reacts. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're reacts. also talking Podcast. to iHeartMedia, said the people who asked not to be identified because conversations are private. The company wants to pick a new home within the next few weeks. Mm. It has talked with multiple big networks, including Spotify, but the Swedish streaming giant declined to make an offer, according to three sources. No offer. Spotify's like, we're out. Mm. No offer. I don't know. Spotify had them on there for a while. They paid them. Maybe they didn't like the analytics. I don't know. Oh, could be. Why you don't give it? Why you give no offer? Come on. The Obamas are each willing to appear in an eight-episode program, which for some bidders isn't enough of a commitment to justify a deal comparable to those for shows like Smart Less, Call Her Daddy, and My Favorite Murder. Those shows appear weekly or with a frequency to close to, close to that. Wait, I'm sorry. Is he, is he saying that he wants close to do an eight-episode eight podcast? That's it? That's it, Mo. He wants 10 millies or tens of millions of dollars for eight episodes. Sounds when you're Obama. Hmm. Eight Obama episodes. Obama money. Yeah, when you're, wow. Ob when you're Obama and you get the big speaking engagements and everything like mm -hmm. that, you go, well, you guys want an episode every day? Are you kidding me? No, no, but I'm you just You kidding saying, me? I'm over here. I'm over there. Why? why I got my it? outfit on. I've got my <laughs> outfit on. I have things to do. <laughs> right. You can have eight episodes. <laughs> you can have eight episodes. And they're like, really? Just eight? We need like 80. Yeah. They like, have you heard of this Lou Later show? He's like, no. <laughs> this happens all the time. They rarely miss a day. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's like, idiots. Yeah. They're not Stupid. cashing out. Stupid. Oh. What are they doing? Yeah. Well, anyway, whatever. We'll see what happens. I, I agree. I, I don't feel like I can pay for an eight episode. Yeah, eight episodes. I think then they just, they shouldn't call it a podcast. If it was like a season. Is this a podcast? I Michelle don't know. Obama podcast? Is well, that what they're talking about? Well, what is it? Raising kids? Uh, I don't know. I don't very, know. Uh, it said the Obamas. So I assumed yeah. it was you're getting both, but I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh, Anyways. Oh, that's a big anyway. <laughs> hey, man. That was a, that anyways was almost a moving on. <laughs> moving on. Should we take a break? Yeah, let's go ahead and take a break. All the best stuff hasn't happened yet. Don't you dare move a muscle. Right after this break, we break it all down. Today's sponsor, Sunday. Get Sunday.com. This is the Backyard Essentials sent to you in the mail. It's time to take care of your yard. Uh, this is quite a concept, Will. I just saw an image in the video above where she connected the the bag the right to the hose. It's like an all-in-one type of setup mm -hmm. going on. And look at the way the grass turns out. It's called Grass Powerhouse, the one that she... But there's different bags for different purposes. And it's all sent to you. They, I mean, what is that? They even got the seed going on. Yes. So I'm, 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 I'm getting rid of the weeds. I'm improving the yard for the dogs as well. Mm -hmm. And it's, and I don't have to go and buy all the, these individual products because everything I might need is in one uh, beautiful package, which is shipped to me. Mm -hmm. Everything's curated. I'm tackling the weeds, the, uh, the mowing and the watering. And I'm getting the fertilizer and soil and pest control in one little kit delivered and tailored to me. So I guess I can pick and choose the different items. Is that what's going on? Mm -hmm. Lovely stuff. It's that time of year, uh, especially around here, where the lawns start to poke out again. Mm. 
and you might not be so happy what you see underneath and it's time to get it together and put a little effort in and it really pays off when you lay, lay down in that beautiful that beautiful lush lawn sunday can help you grow a beautiful lawn without the guesswork or the nasty chemicals they have a lawn analysis tool, which they use soil and climate data to create a personal nutrient plan delivered to your door when you need it. Their fertilizer includes ingredients like seaweed, iron, and molasses, which is safe for kids and pets. Sunday is offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $129. You can get 20% off checkout when you visit getsunday.com slash later. That's 20% off your custom plan at getsunday.com com slash blue later also sponsored by stitch fix discovering the styles you love just got easier it all starts with a style quiz that's what stitch fix is known for you go in you tell them about the items you like you tell them about the items you don't the pieces then get picked out for you by professional stylists they send them over uh you get a chance to test them out try them on look in the mirror but they already know you from the style quiz so they they got a, a sense of the fit and exactly what you're looking for they got a bunch of brands that they can choose from in order to craft this particular look you can see some of these brands on screen here including columbia club monaco calvin klein vans adidas north face levi's uh, nike is on there uh, they even got golf stuff i see callaway over there ralph lauren so listen Whatever your style happens to be, maybe it's a, a more on a casual side, athletic side, uh, could be on the formal side. The experts will pick it out, ship it to you for free. There's easy returns and exchanges on all orders. No commitment. Shop when you want, how you want. There is no subscription required. Only pay for the stuff that you actually like. And, and, and don't bother going to the store, into no, no. the room, the cramped room, and the person's bringing you the things and it's pressure and everything else. And you don't need this pressure. It's stuffy, it's smelly, you know how it is. You don't need this in your life. No. What you need in your life is Stitch Fix. You try it on at home, in front of your own mirror, you get to choose comfort of your own premises. Let's go. Whatever your style, now more than ever, you have time to check it out. Take a few minutes to set up your Stitch Fix style profile. Their expert stylist will go to work finding items exclusively for you. They'll send you five pieces to try on at home. Keep what you love and send back what you don't. Shipping, returns, and exchanges are easy and free. Sign up today at stitchfix.com slash later to get $20 off your first purchase. That's stitchfix.com slash later to get $20 off your first purchase. Limited time offer. Purchase within two days of sign up. Thank you to Stitch Fix. We're also sponsored by Masterworks, a complete platform for investing in art. You maybe never viewed yourself as a person who would have the opportunity to invest in fine art, but they put together a program that actually makes it possible. Masterworks is the first platform for buying and selling shares, representing an investment in iconic artwork. Uh, you build a diversified portfolio of iconic works of art created by their industry leading research team. According to Art Price, the value of blue chip art has outpaced the S&P 500. Too bad Mo's not here for this particular. He would like to know something mm. like that. Uh, the total value of privately held art to be somewhere around 1.7 trillion as reported by Deloitte. This is big, big business, big opportunity here, and maybe not something that you had thought about in the past. I'm talking physically limited. You're investing in that art from artists like Banksy. I mean, I, what they have Andy Warhol over there. You go in the price database. These are names you may have heard of. Okay, look, I can't have that. I can't scroll down. That I can't 110, 110 million. I can't have that. You know what I can have? Hmm. Can't have a piece of it. Look at this. Yeah. Purchase price, 20 grand. Look at the appreciation, 33 years. Get out of town. Art can go up, man. It can really go up. It might be a little bit more fun and exciting and interesting than uh, a lot of other a lot of other ways you can make investments. So definitely go check it out. It's uh, Masterworks. Contemporary art pieces have outpaced the S&P 500 of a total return of 164% 
from 95 to 2021. Masterworks can let you be a part of a growing trend. You can get ahead of the crowd with priority access to skip the waitlist. Head to masterworks.art. See important regulation aid disclosures at masterworks.io. D. That's masterworks.com slash Lou later. We're live now. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. Man, that was a wonderful break. Holy cow. I don't know if I've ever had a break that good before. Talking think, about arch support. I think it was actually the <laughs> I think it was the greatest break of all time because I was lost. I was in the clouds temporarily. I was just drinking this. What is this? Peach? I was drinking that with the bubbles and whatnot. Uh-huh. And uh, having a little side chat about uh, some device that I buy all the devices you know that well uh-huh. if it's a gadget for a certain thing I gotta try it out uh-huh. I realized at this point I didn't bring the breathing thing yet which mm. that yeah. now we gotta wait ah, until Monday it's my bad it's my bad we wait till Monday but I promise you I'll bring it on a Monday I'm planning on bringing it on a Monday do oh, you want to wow. try the Oh, this is a good Since moment. you don't have your yes, breathing Yes, I machine. don't have my breathing thing, but I have another, because this is the most exciting show in television. <laughs> you television? Best, <laughs> you best not forget <laughs> that you're watching CNN Plus, all right? Oh. oh it gets yeah. more every time. He hates I'm it. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> yes, this is the number one most viewed show in television, so we always had to keep coming up with ideas for segments and things like that. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's, you know, they should see the meetings we have. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that was just for me and i that know that was just mo. for me that was for mo. i can't let you down now it's for mo okay so anyway <laughs> i'm over in the uh at the uh, gas station but i'm not at the gas station for gas because the car's electric <laughs> yeah and i know some i know someone's gonna say that but uh i like to go and look at the items in the gas station okay i, I know you guys might think that's crazy I don't know if you guys think that's crazy or not. No, I go there. They got sometimes the best candy. Could be items that you... I'm like, oh, they were, they made a new one of this? It could be items you, you never expected. Oh, it happened to us yesterday with the Tic Tac. Tic Tac. <laughs> There's a new Tic Tac? There's like... 15 no, he, he got orange. He got the orange one. And then Jack walked over. <laughs> and Jack was like... <sighs> Can I have one of those? Yeah. And Mo was like, yeah, what's the matter? And he's like, it's an explosion of flavor. <laughs> I swear that's what he said. It's what he said. It's I definitely swear what he that's said. what he said. And I was like, the Tic Tac? You're talking about the Tic Tac? Yeah, tiny little Tic Tac. <laughs> Have you had it before? The orange one? Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course. But for some reason, it set him off. <laughs> he's horned up. It's, I don't <laughs> yeah. know what it was. It set him off. Yeah. Anyway, Mo got the orange Tic Tac, but... I like to go in there and I look around and I don't, sure. not for long. Like I, I, I'm over coming over here anyways. Mm-hmm. And usually I want to get an iced tea or something like that. And uh, there's a few, I have a few recommendations in that category, but I think they could all be better, by the way. Mm. Anyway, point being, I saw this there today on my way in. And this was the limited edition Starlight Space Inspired Coca-Cola. Uh, can they see this, Will, right here? Yeah. yeah. By the way, shout out Miguel, shout out Charlie. Uh, and Christopher. This tastes like space, I guess. Uh, we talked about it on this show a while back, and I had, I probably said at that point, oh, I'm going to try it out on the show, but of course I'm not going to order it or anything. But I saw it, and I was like, I can actually go full circle on this one. So In you real got life. the um, non-zero sugar. You got the regular. I got the real deal. Okay. I got the real deal Starlight. Shout out DJ Medusa. And... I started to look at it and I remembered covering the story about what would space taste like. <laughs> when you think of a space inspired drink, mm-hmm. what is the flavor? And now I'm just realizing I can't just drink this on my own. I need little cups for you guys too. Do we have it? I've already had it. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. Well, did you have it already? No, I haven't. Did you need a little cup or not? I'm good. That. I'm good. You're not even going to try I'm, it? I'm all right. He's making a face like this is disgusting. <laughs> okay, I'll get a drink. I don't want to taste space. Uh, here, well, that's here? what I thought. I thought that spa- the taste of space it just didn't seem appetizing, but I like space. Okay. Uh, so here's what they say about it. Coca-Cola Starlight. Introducing Coca-Cola Starlight, the first limited edition sparkling beverage from Coca-Cola Creations. 
experience a subtle cooling sensation as you enjoy the reddish starlight space flavored beverage. I mean, they're saying it's a space flavored beverage. A new but familiar Coca-Cola taste discover infinite possibilities from a new world with Coca-Cola Starlight before it's gone. So it's a limited edition space soda. And I, okay, I couldn't help myself. I looked at the ingredients. Of course you did. Which is not really fair. And I'm actually glad that Will isn't going to have a chance to do that. Oh. So he has to go... <laughs> Bl basically blind into this and you're gonna sure. try to discover what the notes are all and right. let me know what space tastes like all right <laughs> all right just pour me a I don't want to taste then. I don't want to taste space I have these tiny little glass can they see this well they can yeah. yeah they can see this okay so does it look listen to that did you hear that mm. <laughs> Oh, okay. is, is it off I color wait what I are you getting what something. notes you get there I smell a note or two here we go Whoa, it's very light in a glass. Yeah, it's very different. It's a light, it's a light colored beverage here. But it looks darker in the plastic bottle. It all, it kind of looks like a like a wine almost. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you were so sense. offended. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes sense, Mo. Even though he's already tasted it. Yeah. Even though he spoiled the entire segment by <laughs> already tasting it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our taste test uh, in in three, two, one. We're gonna discover what space tastes like. Go. Hmm. It doesn't. At first, it's Coke. At the very first, it's Coke. But then there's something that comes after. Oh my god, it's like a cherry? Is it a bit of a cherryness in there? Hmm. Is my tongue numb right now? <laughs> because of the space? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. It's also it I don't remember, but it feels like more fizzy. More fizzy. Is, it Is more that fizzy? the tongue thing I'm talking about? It might be that. <clears throat> that might be what I'm talking about. Hmm. I guess space is like very starry, so maybe they. Went. I'm gonna let it sit on the tongue for a second. Hmm. 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 <laughs> the rest of the show is him. Hmm. <laughs> First of all, I do not believe that space tastes like this at all. <laughs> of course not. Space does not taste anywhere near as good as this. I hate to tell ya. <laughs> yeah. You, I want you to give feedback first because I read the ingredient list. So for sure, you got to talk just, first. Uh, <laughs> I just had a weird moment of um, the concurrent viewers of 1,100 people watching us taste Coke. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's not. It's, it's it's space. Well, don't forget. It's actually space, which you should definitely watch. It's a weird moment. Watch that. I want to hear your feedback. Well, you're going to have to talk first on this because I did read <clears throat> the ingredients here. So, disclaimer, I don't really have a good palate, you know. Things just kind of taste mostly the same to mm. me. If it's like Coke, mm. my mind kind of goes to Coke. So I don't have too much of a, like a certain opinion on it. Mm. I do think that it may taste a little maybe sweeter mm. and maybe has more of a bite. Sweet and bite. Um. And it's red. It's a little, it has like a tinge of red. Mm. That's just me. So did you want to mention... I don't taste the red. Did you want to mention any kind of ingredient other than what would typically be found in a Coke? Um, I would maybe say like a slight hint of cherry. Mm. That's where I was at. Mm. Cherry flavoring. <laughs> okay so listen i don't even know that they necessarily share it because the thing uh, about the coca-cola uh thank you jameson for supporting cnn plus <laughs> mo hates it because he thinks people won't know what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah but, but also, we're way better than cnn plus. you gotta know that the people know what i mean i know the community knows you gotta know uh, 
they don't share their secret sauce. You know that, right? Like, that's when they come in there and they say, <coughs> natural flavors. Like, why are you talking about natural flavors? <laughs> yeah, it tastes so natural to me. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to read the ingredients to you. Okay. In order of uh, first to last. You got it? Mm. Carbonated water, sugar, oh. concentrate of carrot and black currant. Do you need oh, a, black currant. Do you need this? Yes. Yeah. I can taste that. What about carrot? Not a lot of carrot. But the thing is, they say that that's for color. So I don't even know oh. if that's contributing to the flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, then it goes on to say natural flavor, phosphoric acid, caramel color, and caffeine. I think this list is very similar to actual regular Coke. So uh -huh. I don't know what kind of magic is going on here. Actually, in this list you found doesn't even identify what the fruit and vegetable juices are that are used for coloring. Mm -hmm. I guess it's better than artificial coloring, carrot and black currant. Uh, but yeah, I agree with you. There's a, a bit of a cherry Coke thing happening. If I'm trying to describe it as something, mm -hmm. but I don't know what else. I really don't. I really don't know how else to describe it. I, it, it. There's no space involved. And I don't know if a trick is being played on me here because it tastes a lot like regular Coke. Right. It's not a distinct, I'm not having a distinct feedback other than it's like a subtle cherry Coke. Do you get a subtle cooling sensation? I don't know. Do I? Is my tongue numb right now? I don't know. Okay. I don't know, but I'm glad we did it because All right. on this show, we get to the bottom of it one way or the other. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let me just say something, Will, because eh. the people deserve it. Okay. If you're out there in the world trying to navigate this complicated place yeah. and you find yourself in a gas station, yeah. I'm going to say reach for the classic one and not this one. Just get yourself a Coca-Cola classic and call it a day. Mm -hmm. I did this so you don't have to. Mm. And I know it's fun and I know we all like space and I know you saw the label and I know you heard the word black current. And I know you, you watched Willie do... Take a sip out of a fancy glass. I don't want you to be influenced by that. I want you to trust that the classic will do you better. Yeah. Do you agree with that, Will? I agree. The classic will do you better. Hundo P. That's what this show is for. That's what this show, we, we just saved you. I don't know, there must be somebody that's in, somebody really want you know. Yeah. The, the cherry Coke types are going to like that. I don't mind the cherry, you know. But a classic is tough to beat. Mm -hmm. uh, don't act, don't get me going on Coca Cola because they tried to go away from the classic. They had to bring the classic back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't get me going on it though. Might get carried away. <clears throat> they tried to introduce the new Coke. It happened a while ago. Yeah, Coke versus Pepsi days. Vanilla Coke though. Do I like? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, countries by percentage of the Earth's surface. You uh, may kind of... Somebody said cotton like candy. Did you taste any cotton candy? You know what? The first initial um, taste. That's not bad, actually, cotton candy. Now that he said it, I'm, like, tasting it a lot more. Space is just ma is actually made of cotton candy. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's the fabric of space. So sugar everywhere? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, look at that. You I, like love, the, I love, yeah. I love, I love, I mm love, -hmm. I love, I love what you've done here. The, the way that they've done this infograph, uh, what you're seeing laid out in this circular structure is how much of the world is made up of what? Starting, of course, with 43% being made up of the ocean. Mm -hmm. And then another 27% being made up of sea ice. Is that right? Yes. During part of the year. So that's even, you could add that to the ocean. Good Lord. If you add that to the ocean, what are you looking at? 70% of the world? What was it? What was it? 43... 43. It's around 70%. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Get out of here. Get out of town. It's a lot of water. But we already do that. 
Then we get Antarctica. 2.75%. It's always underrepresented on the map that you look at. You're like, what? A little, little sliver down there. No, not sliver. Much bigger. <laughs> it's the map playing tricks the way they do maps. Uh-huh. You ever seen these people try to accurately represent the scale of things on maps, but it doesn't look good? So then no. they're like, well, we got to fit it in. Who cares about scale? Mm-hmm. It is 0.3% uh, of the Earth's surface in Antarctica, 1,610,000 1, kilometers squared. Uh, next, we have Russia, 3.34%, Canada, 1.96%. Are you surprised with Canada? Mm, I mean, it's big, but... Not that big? Oh, it's yeah. big. No, no, no. She big. <laughs> it's bigger than China. She big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. Go out, a lot of land, Will. Wait till you get your Bronco. You'll see. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be out. You'll see. Out and about. Canada, China, United States, Brazil, Australia, India, Argentina, uh, Kazakhstan, Algeria. I mean, this might surprise you. I like how they fit it all in there. Uh-huh. And... Uh, Obviously, not every single country is represented, but it gives you an idea. Um, the rest of the world occupies another chunk at the very bottom. So you can see exactly where you sneak in there. But there's a lot of land, but there's a hell of a lot more water. Mm -hmm. Start thinking about it like that, man. Yeah. Well done, Will. It's exactly what we need right now. Yeah, that's fun. After our space drink. Twitch reportedly considered cutting streamer pay to boost its own profits. Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> I like how that headline seems like a surprise. It's like, where do you think they get these numbers from? Oh, instead of paying the consumer or no, the, I just mean like, like where do you think they there there there's a, a constant dance going on here mm -hmm. of a balancing act of how much money of what these revenue splits will be. How much money should the platform get? How much money should the streamer themselves get? Mm -hmm. The content creator, the YouTuber, the TikToker, the Instagram reeler, the Instagram storyteller like yourself. Yeah, like what's what's the best deal here? What is YouTube's deal? 5545 Mm -hmm. on ad revenue and 70 30 on like all these people giving us the super chats shout out junk food junction and others uh that's gonna be 70 30 but don't get me started on a 70 30 because apple's gonna take a piece if you if you did the super chat from ios oh my goodness apple takes 30 right away oh wow so you thought you were 70 30 but your 70 30 is cut out of the original 70 30 oh so you get a 70 percent Apple gets 30 right away. Wait, it's not even a no, no, question. No, 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 no. Wow. No, no, no. Timmy? You kidding? <laughs> Timmy. Tim, Tim, Tim is not taking the, the, the leftovers. <laughs> Timmy. You pay Tim first. Yeah. He's Tim. just rubbing his ends. Mm -hmm. Tim's like, you want to give these guys a super chat? Start here. But wow. Yeah. They're like the mob. They're like the mob. They're like, we are... Taxes. Yeah, you want to do any business, come mm -hmm. to us first. So, yeah, um, but it's all been described by YouTube. They let people know that's how it works. I mean, you don't have to go through the app store. Okay. But a lot of people have their money connected to it, and it's convenient for them. Uh -huh. Let's give let's give them some credit. Let's give Tim some credit. Why don't we? If he didn't go collect everybody's credit cards, it might be harder to make a super chat, mm -hmm. like Christopher over here. Mm -hmm. uh, he says Mo Money can compete with Jim Cramer Mad Money. Do you know Jim Cramer's Mad Money? No. Get out of here. You're supposed to be the stock guy. He's the original <laughs> guy, he, but he's a different demeanor than you. He's yelling and screaming. Oh, right. Hold on. Let me see. He's buying and selling, or he's telling you to, or whatever. A new report, a new Bloomberg report, citing people familiar with Twitch's pay planning claims that the company wants to incentivize streamers to run more ads, in addition to considering reducing the portion of subscription fees allocated to performers. More specifically, the site's top streamers would reportedly see their share of subscriptions dip down from 70 to 50. It's a big cut. Kobe didn't even respond to that. He's all grown up. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> he attacked Otis today. Oh, did you want to go into it? or? 
<laughs> what do you mean? We uh, didn't see it happen. I don't know if it's a tag. I think they're just I playing saw, too hard. I saw. Well, yeah. I saw. I saw. I saw the after. I saw. We all saw the aftermath. It was too much. I mean, he came to me for protection. <laughs> yeah. I was surprised. I'm like, oh, I, I'm like, I don't do anything. Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm sitting here. I'm talking. Why you come to me for protection? You're the talking man. I guess so. Me. He's like, it is time for the talking man. <laughs> He just stood by my right leg. I know, I know. And uh, <laughs> there was some safety there. I gotta admit, I felt responsible in that moment. I was oh. like, because I kind of wanted to move around a little bit, but I was right. like, I think he's taking comfort in like me standing between him mm -hmm. and Kovu at the moment. So you stuck around a little bit. I guess. Mm. I feel like that's what happened. So they, they uh, for those that don't know, they're playing around, and then one of them will take it too far. Yeah. And then they'll be you know then they they're mad at each other or maybe not maybe yelps. maybe not mad i don't know yeah. if they experience it like that but they warn one another yeah. and then there's a separation yeah and then well kovu doesn't even understand he just wants no, to but be he back has, into but it but he has to go lie next to you yes because he's in no trouble christopher now. I, don't, I don't want to make you guilty on the ios christopher listen <laughs> it's a convenience thing like you if it wasn't so easy to do you wouldn't do it and tim gave you the convenience so tim gets his 30 points it's fine tim gets his tip it's good anyway so kovu goes over where mo is and then he's got to lie down over there mm -hmm. and then otis goes over where i am <laughs> not usually <laughs> yeah he goes over where will is and there's like a settling down process mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. goes on yeah and then they become friends uh, the following day or whatever. Yeah. They just need to cool down. That's they got to cool down, man. They got to cool down, period. And so, but it's quite a thing to watch. Mm -hmm. And then the owners get a little <laughs> bit uppity. <laughs> the owners have their own thing going on. Yeah. Which is you two. Yeah. Me and Will just go at each other. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. The I'm sitting by your feet. I don't, know, I don't know the protocol. I don't know the protocol. <laughs> I don't know the protocol with the owners. Start scrapping. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Because you guys tell me you go to the dog park. You don't know the protocol. No one mm -hmm. does. No, it's a... Uh... What do you do after something transpires? Like, in this case, you know each other. But if something transpires... Yeah, it's happened a few times. It's a weird... It's awkward. Mm -hmm. It is very awkward. Typically, both sides are apologizing. Hopefully. Yeah. That's not what he says. It's No, it's not <laughs> always the case. Sometimes. <laughs> What are you talking about? Your stories are different. No, no. Your dog I'm generally pretty cool. No, your dog park stories are different. <laughs> dog park? Yeah, that's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't go to the dog park. See anymore. what I'm saying? It's too much beef going on. I've lowered yeah. mine, uh, taking Kobe to the dog park as well. Or I go like very odd hours where I know there's not a lot of dogs. There. So what's the problem? Why is the dog park... Uh, why do you not recommend the dog park? Well, for, for Kovu, he's not snipped. So he attracts uh, other dogs who aren't sniffed, uh, snipped, and they uh, they get aggressive with each other. So it's purely sexual. <laughs> okay. I, I would that the, never I, say it like that. Well, but. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that. Like, is it? Is it? You think that if you if that di didn't exist, then it would be just another walk my, in the park? My vet told me that 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 would be the case. Hmm. So, I think, I because I don't see other dogs, and Kovu is. You but know, Kovu, he's, he's not the aggressive one. It's he's, the other dog. Exactly. That smell him. They smell him, and then they start attacking. <laughs> and, yeah. He obviously is defensive, but uh, he never is he's initiating the, it. Yeah. He's the nicest dude. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> Who are we, what are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Who and what are we doing? Who and what are we doing? <laughs> they just love to lick blood. <laughs> when you went to the oh when you went to the dog park, Will, you said that everybody. I would like to try a Japanese fruit sandwich. That's a great idea. When you went to the dog park, they are very good. You, uh had this encounter and you refused to back down <laughs> why are you making up stories <laughs> what's going on here <laughs> don't you remember you told me this like, like, like there was some kind of uh, interaction and you had to get in the middle of it did this happen am i crazy yeah go ahead will i i'm i'm i'm, I'm unlocking this memory <laughs> inside of you well he did fight that's what i'm talking at, about at one point it, it got in a fight 
I think, uh, yeah, like uh, like Mo, he wasn't snipped. Like Kobu's <laughs> Mo's dog. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't not Mo. snipped. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out that owner. He's not snipped. <laughs> Super aggressive. Yeah. Sexually. Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, another dog came to challenge him. Mm -hmm. And Otis wasn't having it. And he, they fought. I had to break it up. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. owner was super apologetic. And yeah. I just left. Wow. I mean, that's what is you it do, like, right? Is it at all like a car accident? It really is. It's a lot of dogs just like around circling. and. But I mean, like the other day at the intersection... I saw the I saw a car accident. You're saying they're trading information? Yeah, there's like a weird moment after the thing happens, which is like we don't know each other, but right. I feel we're supposed to interact and like right, right, or know, continue this that there maybe is a protocol, yeah. but then there isn't because you're because there really isn't a social of protocol. Of course, for there's it. nothing. Yeah, unless there's grave injury, right? If you see blood, you know what I mean. Yeah, I know, but even then, what? Here's my phone number. Like what? Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. know. Yeah, it's it's kind it's of awkward. it's kind of insane the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, let's all let's all let's all bring our wolves to a fenced-in area and see what happens. Uh huh. Yeah, I I, I think that's strange. But people they want to get out. They want to chat it up. Uh huh. Oh, it's not just that. It's also you want to give your dog a lot of space to run in where you know he can't run away yeah like that's the value i see in the dog park the no running away well the i can let you run as freely as you want because that's what kova loves doing and i don't have to worry about losing you mm -hmm. right because if you go to just like far away to an open area open like, field he's gone yeah there's a hike that we like to go on mm -hmm. um he and, just bolts immediately and he does <laughs> he bolts sometimes and uh it's just a giant forest. It's like huge. Yeah. I would lose him so quickly. Yeah. So I got to keep him leashed on that one. I always wonder about the running away. The one time Otis ran away and I was like, hmm. Yeah, he did run I away. I didn't expect it. Like, I didn't think they would At do work. it. work. I didn't yeah. think they would do it. But some do, some don't. I don't know. Okay. It's all about, there's a big age aspect to that too. Mm -hmm. He'll never leave your side now. Like I, like, I don't think he can run away. There's no possible way he can run away now. At this age. He he's could a, get lost though. He's attached. He's attached. Well, here. He's attached. <laughs> no, no, but what I mean is he can get lost. The tentative monetization considerations come amid a time of flux at Twitch. Hmm. Twitch is simultaneously reeling from what Bloomberg calls a mass exodus of employees disappointed in the company's direction. Some 300 employees reportedly left Twitch last year with another 60 leaving in the first three months of 2022. Some top creators have left too. In the past year, both Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman, two prominent streamers, left the site for rival YouTube. Earlier this year, Amazon announced it would add a 5% fuel and inflation surcharge to third-party sellers. Oh, they're just trying to loop it in to the Amazon picture and say that they're looking for more, I guess, looking to compensate for inflation. Yeah. Maybe the employee costs go up and then they want more of that streamer cash to pay for it. But going from 70, 30 to 50, 50, I mean, who's going to, who's going to, who's going to want that granted well, actually, yeah. Was it the ad revenue or the direct subscription revenue? Because then people could go to YouTube and get the 70-30, can't they? I don't know. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but it definitely is heating up. I think I could say that. I think I could tell you it's heating up, the Twitch versus YouTube streaming thing. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Uh, this is a drone fly-through of Ford's F-150 Lightning plant with oh. an FPV drone. Oh. Is this a thing? Well, the te Tesla no. did yeah. it. Tesla did it, so now Ford's, I get it. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, it was obviously a hit. Yeah, it did so well. So give us a taste. It was really cool, too. Give us a taste. You're not going to, are you? <laughs> I uh, I should preface to say that uh, there's this one that's really edited, and then there's the other one, which is less edited. And mm. I feel like the less edited one is better. 
Well, well whatever uh, one you want to play for know. us, Will, uh, it's up to you. Okay. Well, there's this one. This Kay. one's kind of fun. <laughs> this is, I'm assuming, the edited one since it's I mean, the scale. Minute. The scale. This of is the, the less edited one. The scale of oh. these buildings is just bananas. It's like a, it's like a town in there. Uh huh. Of course, Man, these we, machines are cool. We got robots going after it, getting after it. And it's very similar to the Tesla one, but uh -huh. you know, it's That's Ford. the skateboard? That's the battery? Uh -huh. Sure looks like it. And you got, I mean, you got robots making... Galore. You got robots making robots. <laughs> yeah. 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 And... Oh, a few people. And robots filming robots. robots. Wow. Making robots. Man, mm -hmm. this place is huge. Four other robots. There's like seven people in that entire place. <laughs> no, there was a lot. 5,000 robots, seven people. No. Ooh, yeah. went through the window. You're damn Again. right. You're damn right it went through the window. Uh -huh. No, the uh, the people have to do like a lot of small assembly stuff. It's But the lifting of heavy things, no one's mad about the mm -hmm. robots doing that part. Mm -hmm. Like this. Ooh, look at what this. What is he dropping That's in? That's the frunk. The frunk. The frunk is dropping in. Huge Drop the frunk. frunk. This drone is very uh, swirly. spinny. Yeah. yeah, very swirly drone. Yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, just flying, though. It's just really cool footage. Yeah, no, this, pli this pilot is legit. Mm -hmm. And Ford, too, man. How quickly they were ready to came out with a... Oh, they have one of those... Uh, same, same thing. thing. Yeah. <laughs> is this a little on the nose? Yeah. Well, I actually think the lighting serves a purpose there in final inspection. Mm -hmm. Right. You got to yeah. inspect the paint job and stuff. Okay, so you're saying that might just be no, standard, I... but this is the first time we're getting an inside look. Could be. Could be. Could be. Shout out, Andre. Appreciate it. Yeah. Very cool. Listen, I'm all for it, Will. I, I love production, factories, electric vehicles, F-150 Lightnings, Teslas, Making things, productivity. Uh huh. It's got all the pieces. Yeah. All the ingredients. That's a soup I'd like to eat. Very well done. I would eat that soup. Yeah. Engineers develop a flexible, paper thin loudspeaker. The new design has the potential to turn any surface into a low power, high quality audio source. This comes to us via Cosmos Magazine. You've added this to your reading list then, Will. Mm hmm. Good for you. Very informative, this uh, article. MIT researchers have developed an ultra-thin loudspeaker that can turn any rigid surface into a high-quality active audio source. The straightforward fabrication process they introduce can enable the thin film devices to be produced at scale. Imagine covering your walls with squares of a thin metallic loudspeaker instead of floral wallpaper. I don't know, from a style perspective, you got the metallic speakers. It's going to be a look to it. I think it might be a cool look. Might be a cool look. Might not be for everybody. Mm -hmm. Compared to the floral wallpaper that they compared it to. Right. But the technology, maybe they can have certain st style, different styles to fit everybody's needs. They were thinking of uh, lining up the car, you know, as well, like interior. So, so I have like complete. Pretty immersive. 360 degree audio. Uh-huh. Paper thin. So here's a little demo of it. Probably going to get copyright, but here we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. So it's literally just like a thin sheet of paper. And um, he's connecting wires to it. Whoa. Oh, my God. Lou, how? And you can kind of tell that it's directional. So as long as it's facing you, you get the full impact. Well, it's, and it seems to be even louder when he bends it. Right? Yeah, like it's almost chamber. Like it's, yeah. yeah. Well, this rem reminds me to a certain extent of uh, when we had those sound devices that you would attach to a surface mm -hmm. or a bottle, and then the surface would become a speaker through vibration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. A, I presume it has something to do with vibration. A typical loudspeaker uses inputs of electric current to pass through a coil of wire that generates a magnetic field. Moving the speaker membrane that moves the air above it, making the sound we hear, this new paper-thin loudspeaker simplifies this design by instead using a thin film of uh, piezoelectric material formed into thousands of tiny domes, only a few hair widths across that vibrate individually when voltage is applied over them in a phenomenon called the inverse piezoelectric effect. 
The engineers used a laser to cut tiny holes into a thin sheet of PET, a type of lightweight plastic, the underside of which they laminated with a thin film of PVDF by applying a vacuum above the sheets and a heat source 80 degrees Celsius underneath. The pressure difference caused the thin PVDF layer to bulge through the tiny holes forming domes. <sighs> wow. Very cool. I mean, wow. you, you don't get the low end, but I mean, it seems pretty clear. Yeah, yeah, I wonder if there's a solution for the low end. But certainly, uh, you can see all types of applications for this paper thin audio. Uh, I don't know. The cost is probably prohibitive at the moment. They say that, um, yeah, it's it's uh, it's expensive mm -hmm. to make. Mm -hmm. But apparently, the whole electric running this thing is pretty pretty in expensive. Inexpensive, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Pretty inexpensive. I thought you were, oh, that's a tough word. I thought you were going to attack me there for a second. <laughs> Got my fangs out? <laughs> yeah. But uh, cool stuff, nonetheless. Very cool. Definitely. And it's all, one of those things of scale. If they can figure out a way right. where it's useful in some sort of application... Uh, some sort of common application and make a lot of it, then that cost of manufacturing can go down, right? Mm -hmm. They can create all sorts of special tools like right. Ford to do a better job of making those things for less. Mm -hmm. Snap's first tiny... What? Yeah. Snap? Snapchat, what? yeah. No. Yep. Why do they need a drone for? Well, Snapchat they had the glasses. A, I know they had the... Do they still have the glasses? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think so. Snap's unannounced drone... You can see it here from almost every angle. Well, why does it say pixie on it? Is that what they're going to call it? That's what they're calling it. I think, uh, so what I heard is the idea is, or the idea that the Snapchat team had was that what if Tinkerbell was taking your pictures all the time? Tinkerbell? Yeah. You're so talking like, about like Peter Pink's, Pan? Yeah. They kind of... The fairy? Yeah. Wow. So this ruler here, what is that? M millimeters? What am I looking at? Yeah, that's a very good question. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how tiny it is. It must be. There, it's the size of your hand. It's tiny. Yeah. Wow. It has a camera on it, or maybe more than one, actually. Mm -hmm. It looks like a fairly simple little device. It does. Now that I've seen it open, the images I saw, they, it looked really cool. But this looks so it's gonna have plasticky. So, yeah, it looks like mm -hmm. a toy. Well, they're gonna have, they can't charge very much for it. They no, 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 they're, they're charging not, like. Three hundred dollars for this. Hmm. I just don't know why you would want to get a drone from Snapchat instead of just get a real one. Apparently, it follows you around. Okay, hang on a second here. Snap is working on a drone called <coughs> Pixie, and the whole thing just leaked. Uh, it's five point one inches by four point seven inches. They characterize the drone as a small, smart drone with a camera and camera function, rounded rectangle. In Snap's characteristic yellow hue with translucent orange propellers and a knob that looks to offer a bunch of different settings. It looks like a camera mode dial. Okay. Yeah, it does. A couple different settings. Very small. Definitely plastic. Mm -hmm. But the propellers are protected to a certain extent because they probably expect you to crash it. Right. If you're trying to figure out scale, just look at that USB-C port on it. Mm -hmm. Like in the image below. Oh, yeah, yeah. It gives you a really good idea of just how small it is. Uh, but it's going to have to have some sort of Snapchat integration. I'm also uh -huh. surprised it doesn't have any Snap branding on it. It does say Pixie or whatever, but right. no Snap. But then it's obviously an early model. Right. They haven't. It looks to have a quality control check on it. Uh, yeah. So is it going to film video as well? Yeah, I assume. Yeah, I assume, and it's probably going to spit it straight into Snapchat and right. all the rest of it. You can see the removable battery as well. Um, I don't know. It's an odd buy. you got to be really into your Snapchat. I guess the glasses were kind of like that too, but the glasses came out of time as Snapchat seemed like up here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It seemed so hot at that moment. Yeah. I don't know how hot it is anymore. Uh, you're a teenager. Mo, are you still snapping away or what? I'm not, but uh, I have younger brothers, and they are. They're still snapping away. Yeah. So amongst the right demographic, they they want they want this drone or what? Mm, I yeah. can't see my brothers getting this, yeah. but yeah, I think there might be somebody out there. Somebody's gonna get it. 
I don't know though. The price is uh, oh, they have some. Never mind. Yeah, I heard the price was uh two thirty US. <laughs> it's just odd for a company like Snapchat to be making hardware at all. It's just not what you. It kind of feels like Facebook making hardware until they switch the whole thing to Meta, yeah. and then mm -hmm. like it just seems hard for a social media right. platform, right. messaging platform, anything like that, right. to get into hardware. It's just like it's a good you, business though. Well, it could be. You have to have a hit on your hands, but it's just so different than than uh, social media. I mean, we haven't really seen it where it really took off. I don't know, or, or either that, or I'm missing, forgetting something. Uh, a social media company that made an absolute hit of a hardware product. I don't know. Yeah, I can't think of one. Like o Oculus, but that's yeah, they got bought out. Yeah, Oculus was kind count? of already there. Yeah. So does that really count as a social media platform making a hit? Google had a social media platform for a minute. That doesn't really count, no, though, either. No. Shout out, Gomez. Appreciate it. Okay, well, good luck. Good luck, Snap. All right, last one. Last one. <clears throat> Bears are pretty athletic, I guess. Well, here we have a black bear hanging from what looks like a tree, although he looks to he or she looks to be very interested in whatever's inside of that birdhouse. Probably oh. something to snack on, a couple of seeds. Uh huh. And this looks like a nimble bear that is, I'm guessing, gonna go for it. And let's find out how athletic they are. Here we go. <laughs> Chewing on the on the oh. oh oh this is dangerous. Let's go. The paws. More athletic than we are. Oh! And using the mouth as the extra grip as well. Spins around. How is this wire <laughs> holding? Yeah. It's quite the wire, isn't the it? The heavy bear. It's quite the wire. It's a really overkill for a birdhouse. Look at that grip right there. <laughs> oh, oh he's like <laughs> barely off the floor. <laughs> and then his butt, his butt ran into that tree stump, too. <laughs> yeah. But... That's definitely a nimble bear. That would be cool to watch. Mm -hmm. And a lot of work for a couple of seeds or whatever's in there. Uh -huh. But I guess he's curious. He's got a little time on his hands. Go check out the seeds. The people watching, they're just in shock. <gasps> That's my birdhouse. <laughs> the dangling? That's my birdhouse. <laughs> Bird feeder, I guess. What's the difference between a birdhouse and feeder? Can it be both? I yeah, guess the I feeder. So. I guess the feeder they eat, they go. the The house they stay. They stay a while. Yeah, maybe they stick around. They might stay a while. Well, shout out to that guy. Very nimble. Uh, definitely putting us to shame. None of us are doing that. Mm -mm. None, <laughs> none of us have that capability. Even Will, and he's halfway up a mountain most days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When he's not jo when he's that. not jogging around your block, keep your eyes open because he's coming for you. Mm -hmm. You might see him and Otis just scrambling out there early morning. Mm -hmm. Probably a, like some sort of a brisk morning exercise that Will likes to get himself into. But he doesn't get too crazy with it. He doesn't get those special outfits or anything. No. He wa he still wants to be... Not there yet. Oh, you might get there? <laughs> oh. oh. Well, keep an eye out, guys. If you see him, if you spot Willie Do out there, let me know. If he's got any type of special outfit going on, uh, you're going to have to let me know on social media because we obviously can't miss that. Uh, shout out to Coca-Cola for attempting to <laughs> put the taste of space into a bottle. I don't know if they did it. Somebody else going to have to let me know. I'm a classic guy when it comes to that taste test. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you to everybody who joined. Thank you to everybody for this week. It's a Friday. Have mm -hmm. yourself a weekend. Get outdoors. Take a deep breath. Reset, and we'll see you back here on Monday.